What if I told you there was an island sitting less than 25 kilometers off the coast of eastern Canada that belonged to France? Well, for a small percentage of you, this is old news, in which case I recommend turning the video off now. But for the rest of you, let me tell you about a collection of eight small islands called St. Pierre and Miquelon. Look at a map of Newfoundland without any islands' names being marked. Can you pick out an obvious outlier? It may look like any other small archipelago from a map, but the islands themselves are very different from the rest of the province in just about every conceivable way. Let's start with some history. Despite the islands being first discovered by a Portuguese explorer, Jacques Cartier did what was on trend for Europeans at the time and disregarded all indigenous people, marking it as French land in 1536. From there, St. Pierre's ownership changed hands between the British and the French a comical amount of times as they both did their best to colonize every last bit of land in the New World even tiny, insignificant archipelagos off the coast of Newfoundland. Through plenty of wars, the islands eventually ended up in the hands of the French Empire and has remained that way since 1816 when the islands were resettled. St. Pierre's title has changed over the years, but for right now, France seems happy calling it a French overseas collectivity. This means that despite being over 3,500 kilometers away from Paris, they're an integral part of France. Okay, but what makes these islands valuable? Well, fishing is obviously a mainstay on the island, but since the fishing is so good on the east coast, and since maritime boundaries between Canada and St. Pierre were not drawn out, there have been a few disagreements over their fishing rights. Canada believed that they deserved an exclusive right to a certain amount of sea area, and of course, so did St. Pierre. And, of course, their views did not line up. Here's the exclusive zone St. Pierre was hoping for. And here's what Canada was hoping for. Now here's what was settled on in court. What's in black belongs exclusively to St. Pierre, while everything else belongs to Canada. Some residents of St. Pierre refer to this as the baguette. Aside from looking slightly goofy on a map, this exclusive zone significantly decreases St. Pierre's financial viability. See, the cod industry in Newfoundland has collapsed, and the island's hopes rest on the chance of finding oil somewhere within the baguette. Today, the islands import over 60% of their goods from France because it turns out a small island in the Maritimes without much in terms of vegetation or fish is pretty difficult to source from. It costs the French government millions of euros in subsidies every year to keep the islands running, thus making those residing on this island the world's most expensive French citizens.